Welcome to an informational video about contact dermatitis and patch testing at Vanguard Skin Specialists. If you are watching this video, you have likely been diagnosed with a possible contact dermatitis. Contact dermatitis is a form of eczema that is an allergic or irritant rash to a substance or a chemical. Contact dermatitis typically causes skin redness, swelling, itching, and sometimes even blistering. Contact dermatitis is common on the face. Here are some examples of contact dermatitis on the body. Contact dermatitis may be localized, as you can see in the photo on the left, showing a person allergic to the metal in their watch band. It may be widespread, as you can see in the photo on the right, which shows a widespread rash on the trunk of a person allergic to their body wash. Contact dermatitis can affect people of all ages, from babies to their grandparents. What else should I know about contact dermatitis? Contact dermatitis can occur even if you have used the same products for 20 years. It is not a change in your products, but rather a change in your immune system that causes an allergy. The rashes can persist even if you do not have a daily exposure to the allergen. In fact, just one exposure to a chemical you are allergic to can cause a rash that can last up to eight weeks. So what is patch testing? Patch testing is a chemical allergy test that can identify whether a personal care product or other substance is causing a skin rash. Here is a photo of a patch or sticker containing 10 different chemicals or allergens. We may place up to eight patches on the skin to test for up to 80 chemicals at a time. What chemicals are tested for during patch testing? Well, while we can test for hundreds of different allergens, here are some of the most common categories of chemicals that we test for in patch testing. Preservatives in food and personal care products. Dyes, fragrances, and essential oils. Medicated creams, because sometimes people may be allergic to an ingredient in the medication they are using to treat their rashes. Orthopedic and dental implants, for patients who believe they have an allergy to metal before surgery or who are struggling with possible allergic symptoms after having surgery. Allergy exposure at work, as there are many occupations that involve potentially irritating or allergy-inducing chemicals. What else should I know about patch testing? Patch testing is not scratch testing. Scratch testing is an allergy test performed by an allergist to determine food, pollen, mold, animal, and dust mite allergies. These allergies do not cause the type of skin rashes you have been diagnosed with by your dermatology provider. Now let's talk about what to expect during patch testing. To prepare for your first appointment, three weeks before patch testing, do not expose your back to direct sunlight. Two weeks before patch testing, stop all oral steroids such as prednisone and avoid use of any topical medication on your back. You may still use your prescription medication to other areas of rashes. Please tell your medical provider if you have had steroid injections in the last month. On the day of your patch test, do not apply any lotions to your back. First appointment, allergen patches will be applied to your skin. Typically, up to eight patches are applied. The back is the most common test area, but if you have rashes on your back, a different testing site will be chosen. The patches are outlined with a surgical marker. Then, medical tape is applied over the patches to secure them. 
The patches are left in place for 48 hours or two days. They should be kept dry. You may still wash, but the patches may not get wet. It is important to avoid scratching or rubbing the patches. At any time during patch testing, if your skin feels itchy, an ice pack can help to calm the area. If this does not help, you may take oral antihistamines such as Allegra, Zyrtec, Claritin, or Benadryl to help calm itching. Taking an oral antihistamine will not erase your reaction. Removal of the patch test at home. A family member or friend may remove the tape and patches and throw them away. Next, they use a surgical marker that is taped to your instruction sheet and trace all the purple marks exactly. Important tip, please do not circle reactions, as this can make reading your reactions difficult. After patch removal. Finally, you may shower. The testing area may get wet, but please do not scrub or wash the area, or we may be unable to correctly read your reaction if the marker is washed off. Avoid wearing expensive or light-colored clothes, as the purple marker may rub off on clothing. Last appointment, reading the results. Your dermatology provider will read the reactions on your skin from the allergy patch test. It is important to note that the reactions are not read on the day that patches are removed, as there may be false positive reactions, and many reactions do take several days to develop. If you have any positive reactions, you will receive information sheets about each allergen and how to avoid them. You will be emailed a list of safe products that do not contain any of your allergens. Sometimes the test is negative and there are no reactions. If so, your provider will create a treatment plan for you. Thank you for watching our informational video about contact dermatitis and patch testing. At Vanguard Skin Specialists, our team is dedicated to providing you with excellent care and resources. Thank you for entrusting us with your medical care.